Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center on this uh, Monday, Memorial Day. We honor and remember and say uh, and say thank you. Uh, a damp start this morning, but you know the afternoon really not too bad. I mean, it still had a lot of clouds, but I mean, outdoor activities and um, any remembrance services or just being outside. Okay, we're looking at live pictures in um, down at Easton's Beach in Newport. We're taping this as of four o'clock, and while we do have a lot of clouds around, there are some breaks of sun. So the afternoon, actually not bad, despite the cloud cover, um, you know, mild and dry. We've had temperatures so far in the upper 60s to low 70s. I do expect these low clouds and fog that we started with very early this morning, even a bit of mist to return later this evening and during the overnight hours. We see a few folks walking the beach down at Easton's Beach in Newport. And you take a look at the high temperatures so far today. And again, we're taping this as of 4 o'clock. And you know, now that the sun's trying to break through a little bit, and we're still, what, uh, four hours from sunset, we may add a few more degrees. But essentially topping out today in the upper 60s to low 70s. Not bad considering the average high for this time of year is in the, uh, the lower 70s. Uh, satellite and radar composite shows the cloud cover, but it also shows uh, some breaks at times in the overcast, allowing for uh, a little partial sun to come through. And otherwise, uh, you know, fairly quiet. Uh, across New England, there's really not much in the way of precipitation, just uh, varying amounts of clouds as we widen out the view. And you take a look uh, across the central plains uh, with warm and humid air, showers, and some thunderstorms. When we overlay uh, the temperatures at the 4 o'clock hour, and you can see that wedge of warmth from the Great Lakes down through the Deep South. And that is headed our way over the next several days. Now, we're not, now Louisville is what, is that 89? Yeah, we're not forecasting, and we're not forecasting 89, but you know, areas away from the coast, away from any ocean influence next several days, starting tomorrow afternoon, you know, we're thinking upper 70s to near 80. So, and a little more humid too, so it'll feel more like summer. So, bottom line, uh, some warmer weather is on the way. So, it's getting real close and we'll walk you through the forecast hour by hour and take a look at this. We're starting off at 7 o'clock in the evening under uh, partly cloudy skies, temperatures at that time in the upper 60s to low 70s. Now take note, now we have high humidity that's moving in and when you pass high humidity over a cool ocean, the net result are low clouds, fog, and sometimes drizzles. So you see this gray offshore and just nudging the coastline, stratus clouds, low clouds and fog. And watch what happens, it starts to move inland throughout the uh, late evening and overnight hours and then dissipating in the morning and then rolling back in by tomorrow evening. So uh, much like today, we'll start with uh, some clouds and a little drizzle, some fog early on um, on Tuesday morning, and then we'll see uh, some breaks of sunshine, sunshine developing during the afternoon, uh, during the late morning and afternoon hours on Tuesday. I think a better chance of brightening skies on Tuesday compared to what we had today. Let me show you the uh, the visibility product here, and this essentially is representing where low clouds and fog will take place. And notice as we get deeper into the evening hours and overnight. You see the low clouds and fog working in, visibility being reduced. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. And then here we are at about 8 a.m. with the low clouds and fog. But then unlike today, watch how this tends to burn off more rapidly, especially inland. So we get some developing sunshine. But right near the coast, I do think we get some hazy sun at the beaches tomorrow. But the fog uh, should be a lot thinner. So I'm thinking, you know, some clouds and hazy sun, some fog just offshore. The sea breeze may bring the fog back in by late afternoon, probably socked in most of the day for Nantucket and Block Island. So as far as uh, the coast, I think a little bit of thinning of the fog in the afternoon for some hazy sun, but then the, the low clouds and fog to roll back in for evening. So for this evening, uh, any breaks of sun we have at 7 o'clock in the way to low clouds and eventually some fog later at night, especially along the coastline. Could even be a touch of drizzle early in the morning with clouds and fog at 6 a.m. By mid to late morning, it's burning off. So by 11 a.m., partly sunny, upper 60s, warmer. And then we're off to the races here with some sunshine and uh, warmer temperatures uh, by the afternoon hours. But again, we're looking at inland temps, which are essentially in the upper 70s. So it'll be a lot warmer with some sunshine. When we take you along the coastline, you know, it does start off uh, foggy early and then it does burn off by around noon. So, of course, with the sea breeze, uh, temperatures cooler at the coast with readings probably uh, mid and upper 60s, cooling to 65. By 5, 6 o'clock uh, uh, Tuesday evening, 
I do expect the clouds and fog to roll back in uh, along the area beaches. So in a nutshell, uh, we do have warmer weather on the way, but it's really confined to areas away from the coast. I think with such higher humidity over the next several days, each late night and early morning, especially the coastline will start with clouds and fog. And then in some cases along the coast, it may take until noontime for that to burn off. Whereas further inland, um, those locations have the better chance of the, of the fog burning off uh, more readily. And the net result uh, will be some warmer temperatures. As far as any um, big storms or widespread precipitation, we really don't see that uh, over the next several days. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.